Hi everybody, it's Rob Williams from the Outer Rim Rookie and the Generation X Wing Podcast. Uh, today's vlog is going to be about just a little bit of my collection. Uh, I don't have a lot of things. Over time I've just kind of moved so much that I had to get rid of things and just just sell things. But uh, since becoming a 501st member, I've started to have another collection of things that just kind of mean something to me. And one of those things, there's coins. So uh, just, I just want to show you a couple things that, I, that I've collected over time, over the last uh, year or so. So let's get to it. So one of the things that, uh, as I was saying earlier, is uh, special to me are the coins. Um, I didn't know much about the coins until becoming a 501st member and learned quickly how much of a tradition it became. And so over time, uh, when I, well, first of all, when I first became a member of the 501st, uh, Jamie Pale Rider Millman, my co-host, and at the time the commanding officer, he uh, donated a whole bunch of coins to me as a welcome to the garrison. He, you know, he's such a good friend that he was collecting these things over the time I was building. And so a lot of the coins that I have were, were from him and also started this addiction of mine to coins. So um, in this case here, uh, these are one of my favorite coins, including my own personal Outer Rim Rookie coin. So, but I've got a lot of just Outer Rim Garrison coins and uh, coins from all around different garrisons, from Ireland to New Zealand, to Texas, uh, San Francisco, all over the place, Mexico, uh, my first one ever, the Austrian garrison. So it's just like, this one here is kind of like my favorite collection. So, and I also have to have one from, from Alvin Johnson as well, R2KT sitting right, sitting right next to mine because it is the reason we do this. It's the reason we troop is to, raise awareness for charities for children and to help others so this other collection I have are one are other coins that are from around the world other garrisons such as South America New York uh, California China all of Texas <laughs> different coins and squads can't forget Garrison Titan from Washington our brothers and sisters down south Florida uh, R2K, uh, R2KT again, another Alvin Johnson coin. This one's kind of cool. This is for the public relations group, which I got bought in a lot and I didn't realize, and I'm, I'm one of the public relations people of the Outer Rim Garrison. A personal favorite, uh, personal, a favorite personal coin of mine is this one here, shaped like a Dr. Pepper can, because I love my cola. Wilro Hood, obviously. And of course, Marco, uh, our friend in, of, the, of the garrison, well, he's a member of the garrison, a friend of mine, uh, Marco Basso is uh, one of the directors and writers of the Bucketheads fan-made movie, which you can find on uh, Transmute Pictures. This is a coin from that was just made for the fan-made movie and also has a lot of our friends of the Outer Room Garrison in it, including Jamie and Steve Three of our, of our podcast. Another collection of coins that I have here, just uh, just a random collection of ones. Of course, you got to have Baby Yoda and the Mandalorian here, a Sirens coin designed by Hydra, and a whole bunch of other ones. Nick the Guy, our commanding officer, is responsible for a lot of designs, such as the Droid Story, Nightmare Before Christmas, Gemma Squadron, some of these coins that uh, are, are his design. He's, apparently, he's had quite a hand in a lot of these different uh, coins uh, here. And of course, this one's one of my one of my favorite ones. I used to carry a lot. This is uh, to Aunt Baru. Another happy landing. So basically, the idea of the coin is: if you have your coin and you challenge somebody, you get a drink. And one of the things, one of the drinks we would have is a blue is a blue milk, which is a shot. I don't know what's in it. I'm not. I don't drink a lot, so it's. I think there's some caracal in there or something like that. But uh, it was a good little coin. I drink. I carry around with me. That started my. Uh, time with the Legion with the Legion so over time as I start collecting coins I start running out of space because one coin becomes two becomes four becomes eight and it starts to just double and double and double and so I bought a lot of these type of uh, coin holders at Michael's at a discount and it holds about 24 coins in each one I know there's bigger ones and maybe I should invest in it but you know I only have so much wall space it's a small place that I have um, but oh, if I run out of room I started going to Ikea. <laughs> so I have like a whole shelf unit of just little things I've collected over time. This is like my Outer Rim Rookie stuff that I, that means a lot to me, like the mug and stickers and stuff and a Pathfinder's coin like there that spins and just little things of just kind of remind me of my love of what I do. Um, breast cancer awareness coins. Uh, I got even little Ewoks in here. 
TIE Fighter coins to uh, remind me about Buddy uh, Steve 2 out in Victoria. And I also have other things out on my shelf, like, well, first of all, before I go to the shelf, this is another collection that uh, Jamie Pale Rider gave to me when I first became a member. It was on his very last uh, day as commanding officer. He also gifted me with a whole bunch of patches, and uh, including this big giant one of the Outerrim Garrison, and all these other smaller patches. Panda Props, which is Terry's company for Greeblies and stuff. Raven Flight, again, for the TIE Fighters like Steve too. And I, of course, they had another layer uh, patch as well. I also have a bunch of droid pa uh, droid hunt tags and uh, kind of memorabilia for my troops. I start every, every time I do a troop, I start to like collect one little small thing from it. And it's really neat to have these memories of it. Eventually, you know, you start to run a room. And so you have to start paring down. What do I keep? What do I just kind of let go? But, and of course I got to have my bucket. This is the bucket I actually wear and it sits on my shelf uh, and pull it out when I need it and clean it out when I have to. Like today after doing the stair climb, I had to clean this sucker out with a little bit of Clorox. Uh, some people asked me how to uh, do a video on clean my gear. So maybe I'll do that. But a whole, whole bunch of other stuff that I've collected. Ewoks, uh, Biker Scouts, I just, it's just kind of a nice collection. This picture here um, is a, it's a fun picture. I went, as you can see, it has the BC Children's Hospital. Uh, one of the things that we did was we visited uh, kids outside the BC Children's Hospital. I didn't get the opportunity to visit inside. Uh, it's very rare you can do that because of, obviously because of the illnesses and cleanliness and stuff like that. But we got to help outside. And uh, I sat down with a whole bunch of kids and I drew this little picture of a brave biker scout being, being followed by some mean Ewoks. And I, I told a little story. Kids weren't buying it. <laughs> they know what the good side is, but it's a picture I, I kept from that day. So I also decorate my room with pictures from this one here is my very first troop. Again, the Steves in their Wilbro hood. The garrison out in Victoria, just lovely pictures. Me with Lady Di, and just my this is this is all from my very first troop in Victoria, and the award that I won for uh, most likely the Die in the Blaster Trooper booth. <laughs> it's kind of fitting. One of the things that I also noticed when trading uh, coins with people from around the world, it, it, all these trading cards. There's some really cool design on these cards. Some have that classic look to it, and uh, some have are just of costumes that people have designed themselves and are part of i mean boss cards and stuff like that there's some cool ones that look like action figure cards it's just really neat that's a great idea it's tempting for me to actually design my own card i don't know if i have enough people who to want a card but uh, it'd be kind of cool so it is it is nice people take pride in what they do and uh the, the work that they created so when you have a cool card it's always nice to just kind of show it off and hand out to your friends one other thing I like to do uh, as I've been collecting coins is kind of keep a map of um, different garrisons around the world. I got this from the Fight First site, but it's just a map and I can start checking off, hey, did I get that coin? Did I get that coin? Some coins are really hard and some coins are just pretty, pretty common. You can find them anywhere if you just, you know, if you just ask politely and have something nice to trade. But um, I always, it's suggestion if you want to do this, keep a, keep a map, check it off and uh, I'm doing okay, doing pretty good. It's like trying to get all the spots on Monopoly board, but uh, it's a lot of fun. I have a bag of coins of doubles here that I've been collecting over time. I'm going to celebrations soon. And uh, so I've been holding these coins as doubles to just have something to trade for because I hear there's a there's a place uh, or there's a time where you can where you can trade coins. So I've been collecting a whole bunch of these. It's really hard not to trade them online right away, but um, Oh, that's a nice one. I like that one. That's the that's the uh, Lunar New Year, Empire Sands. So I have, like I said, I got a whole bunch of coins. I'm ready to trade. So I, I looking forward to celebration just to trade these things. One last thing we're going to show you before we finish the blog is my bizarre Rees collection. I have a whole bunch of stuff for Rees from pop vinyls to original action figures to the original action figure in case given to me as a, as a moving gift from my uh, also my co-host Anil Sharma at Space Hindu 73 Google it and a whole bunch of different re stuff I got almost everything there is with re on it as far as I know except for a couple odd things here and there 
and of course a Reese coin. This one was a real nice find, but I have my Reese collection. I even have the carded one from the uh, recent Cantina, or not the Cantina, Java's Palace thing. Also, even three-eyed camera Reese, which I used to make fun of until <laughs> iPhone came out with three lenses on their camera, so what do you know now? I also have other things here, like little, little comic books that mean something to me. And of course, Amazing Man. If you know who Amazing Man is, oh, you're you're already awesome in my books. So there you go. So a couple of little things here, even with the Justice League uh, of America in there. And of course, a wonderful coin to remind me of my friend Steve Kirk. So that's it. Uh, just a little quick view of uh, my collection. Uh, it's not much, but I like it. Uh, it's it's playful, but yet I try to keep it somewhat adult. It's somewhat grown up by putting it in nice little frames and stuff. And uh, <laughs> other than that, uh, next next vlog, my um, fan expo is coming up, man. This is my first fan expo, of Vancouver. It's a big deal, and I'm gonna be taking some videos of that. Maybe make a longer video, longer video of what you do at a fan expo, all the different activities on a big convention like this. So uh, stay tuned for that. Um, thank you for watching. I really appreciate it. And if you got any ideas for vlogs that you want to see, um, let me know. Email me at generationxwingpodcast at gmail.com, uh, Facebook, Twitter, whatever. Just contact me and I will try my best to get back to you and I'll try my best to make a vlog. Give you more information, 501st stuff. Just less, less personal stuff, more 501st stuff. Other than that, thank you for listening and... Uh, Never. Armor is built. Nope. See ya.